Hello, top of the evening, everyone. I'm uh, Minister W.D. Patterson. I'm uh, a clergyman and a social scientist of human geography. Uh, I've kind of dedicated much of my life to solving problems to do with uh, blacks in America. I'm uh, author of the inclusion theory and the first cultural competency model. Uh, and the Black Plight in America, TBPIA, which you'll be hearing a lot more about uh, when I get back from Europe, from presenting 22 years worth of research before the European Union, and it has a lot to do with homelessness. And my question here is, uh, locally, we have housing agencies, like King County Housing Agency, mm -hmm. Renton Housing Agency. These are public housing agencies that receive federal funding. Seattle Housing Agency, or authority, and I remember that word authority, they're their own kingdoms. So I chose Seattle Housing Authority to do some research on uh, back in uh, 2006. Matter of fact, a colleague of mine did uh, a study that she presented at uh, Washington State in Pullman at uh, Geographers Conference, and her findings were, based on the data that she collected, was that uh, Seattle housing actually contributed more to housing or homelessness than they helped. So I made it my project to look into this. And I found out uh, three areas of concern. It was uh, nepotism, and we all know what nepotism is, right? When you're an authority and you practice nepotism, what do you do? You only hire your friends, family, relatives, and people you know, and you only help the same. Uh, number two is the bureaucracy that they have, adverse policies that screen people out. And number three is the amount of federal tax dollars that they get. Uh, my question here is, what can be done about that? <laughs> you apparently think I'm a lot smarter than I am. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what to say about the Seattle Housing Authority at this point. I mean, it seems like their chief project is to figure out how to um, translate their land assets into into profitable assets and you know, we've seen that attrition of even the public housing that is available in Seattle under the guise of turning it into kind of mixed income communities. Um, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's public housing should be this bricks and mortar public asset that is a hedge against market. You know, I mean, the market is not going to meet our housing needs. That was why public housing was created in the first place. The legacy of public housing is, I mean, the, the state of public housing at this point across the nation is an absolute disgrace, not just in Seattle. It's 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 a rat infested bureaucracy. And and I don't know, I suppose like every other every other sinking institution in this country at this time you know we got we got rats uh rats that are raiding the whatever that metaphor is you know rats on a sinking ship i guess they jump but they're not jumping they want to eat everything first um so i don't know i respect the work that you've done and you're absolutely right and i'm uh you know, kind of in despair at the prospects of public housing at the moment, not just because of the federal picture, but because of what you describe. Uh, I think there's a problem with how we, we see homelessness and how we treat homeless people in this country, because uh, the, uh, like the American institution that I grew up in has been in crisis since the 80s. And when you do some more research, you realize that it's always been in a state of perpetual crisis, right? And a lot of this crisis has to do with uh, kind of the morality of, of the nation, how it sees people. I, as I got older, it was kind of a shock to me to see that uh, a nation like ours kind of modeled the same kind of dehumanization tactics that Nazis use. Like the, a German philosopher Carl Schmitt uh, had this construct he called the, the political, 
right? And in the political, uh, there are three distinct things that you see. Uh, income inequality or inequality in general, um, and it's kind of seen as something that's just endemic to any system. The distinction between friend and foe, um, people who are the in-group and people who are the out-group, and then most importantly, the sovereign. Since we live in a republic, uh, I mean, the sovereign now is, is not just one leader, it's many leaders in the, in, in the rule of law. And our laws have, I mean, since the 1930s of Hoovervilles have been supporting dehumanizing homelessness, homeless people, uh, and kind of putting them into this class where uh, it's okay to dehumanize them. It's okay to starve these people slowly. It's okay, you know, uh, uh, by ignorance, if you will, to, to perpetuate this system that keeps people down. So it's like this information that we, we see, it's like we've always been seeing it, but the bureaucracy, like has been said before, is what kind of keeps uh, the data from reaching the point where it's actionable and actionable in a way that actually makes distinct changes.